It's Tooltip Tuesday, and this one is about one of my favorite things. It's been in a lot of videos since, you know, way back around the 39-ish mark, and that is baking paper. Now, this is commonly referred to as parchment paper in America, from what I've been told. Not that I went shopping for it when I was driving across America a year and a bit ago, but... It is also referred to as grease paper. And that might be the other Americans that refer to it as grease paper. And then there is wax paper. So some people have referred to it as wax paper. I'm not sure if wax paper and grease paper are the same things, though. One seems to be wax and one seems to be grease. But of course, there will be people who will tell you in the comment section. They will correct me uh, because I do post-video research. That is... I don't do any research, you tell me what I've made a mistake, and then I say, yeah, I knew that all along in the comment section. But baking paper, that's what I'm going to call it, and that's what I'm sticking with, is a fabulous material because hot glue does not stick to it. So in the previous video, with the Tooltip Tuesday, we talked about hot glue and the amazing things you can do with hot glue. And of course, baking paper is fabulous because it does not stick to the hot glue. So it's easy to pull the hot glue off and do all kinds of designs and splotches and goos and things with the hot glue uh, without it actually sticking to the surface you're working on. I also have used it for paint. Um, sometimes in my videos, you'll see me use it as, as the palette. Um, but it also is great for just protecting your cutting mat when you're painting and you don't want to get any paint onto that surface or you're even in the dungeon blocks video where I created you know, the little um, plasticine slash clay blocks where you know that will not stick to the surface because of the baking paper. One of the really good uses is if you're going to do mini painting and you can create what they call a wet palette. Now a wet palette is essentially a folding of paper towel which you place in the bottom of a punnet uh, you moisten it with a few uh, dribbles of water, so don't over moisten it, and then you place the baking paper on top of that. So what happens then is when you actually uh, put paint on there, the baking paper is porous, so it allows the moisture to seep through from underneath. So you can seal up this little punnet, uh, especially if you're using a sort of a Tupperware or something like that. You can seal up this punnet and it allows you to keep your colors that you've mixed for a prolonged period of time. This is very useful when you're using expensive paints uh, for painting miniatures and that sort of thing. When you're doing crafting with, you know, the ultra cheap dollar a tube craft paints, or you're getting like a liter for $2.50 or something ridiculous, of course, that's not really going to be necessary. But if you have created an interesting color, a wet palette is very good for that sort of purpose, as well as for color blending and other sort of things to that sort of effect. So I encourage you to have a look at videos on wet palettes. I will probably do one later in this series, but the gist of it has been explained already. Baking paper, extremely useful material. I also used it in my little-known Cheval de Frise video, which was a response to Terrainaholic's Palisade video, which uh, he did a Cheval de Frise and called it a Palisade, which, of course, is wrong. How dare you? It's like, you know, I bear a grudge. It's been like four years. Good Lord, man. Anyway, that's Tooltip Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I will see you next time.